Hi, I'm Ambi, and today I'm going to talk about my process of making print and play games. With some print and play roll and write games, you just need to print out a sheet of paper or just keep a digital version of it and write on the computer, but I'll go over some of my methods for making more involved print and plays that include cards. Also, I mostly make print and plays to be playable and not very fancy, but you can make them a lot nicer and fancier if you want to. Firstly, one thing you need is a printer and some paper to print out all the files. I just print out on regular paper most of the time. I've tried doing cardstock, but my printer doesn't really like that, so most of the time I stick to just regular paper, single-sided. Another tool that's really useful is a laminator. This is super useful for roll and write games because if you want to play a game repeatedly, then laminating a sheet and using dry erase markers is a lot less paper and printing than printing it out each time. For making cards, single-sided cards are pretty straightforward. For me, I just print it on regular paper, then cut it out and put them into card sleeves. I like putting playing cards behind the card to give it like a thick card feel and that actually helps a lot. Double-sided cards are more difficult because for me it's difficult to align double-sided printing and so I end up just printing two single-sided pages and then putting them together in sleeves. There's a lot of cutting out of components in print and play games of mostly cards and some tokens and stuff but I've mostly been using scissors because before this I didn't have any fancy cutting tools. The last thing that you'll want if you do a lot of print and play games is a lot of dice and tokens of different colors because print and play games generally don't come with all of the dice and tokens you need but if you just have a lot of the generic ones you can use those for the components in a lot of different games. Over on Board Game Geek, there's a lot of free print and play games that I've been going through and there's also a very active and helpful print and play forum. So if you want to get into print and play, you can look over there and join the community. Bye!